Hi, my name is Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to be looking at a trailer for Shot Corridor. Um, I was just telling Joe that when um, Jeff Kleeman was at Paramount, I was invited to do a remake of Shot Corridor. And I went home to really study the movie and figure out how I could do it. And I love the movie so much. And I, I realized that it was so brilliantly done. There was no way to redo it. And um, I called Jeff and said, I can't do it. So anyway, this is a very special movie. And I'm a huge Sam Fuller fan. So let's take a look. The motion picture screen opens the door to sights you've never seen before. Shock Corridor is about a journalist who purposely gets himself committed to a mental hospital to get the story that he believes will win him a Pulitzer Prize. He also wants to solve a murder, but you have the impression that the Pulitzer is much more important to him. Of course, he goes crazy while he's in there. And the worst part of it is that he starts to believe that his sexy stripper with a heart of gold girlfriend is his sister. <laughs> So the hard lesson is don't pretend you're crazy unless you want to go there. I am a huge Sam Fuller fan. I just love the wild, passionate vibe of his movies, the idiosyncratic characters he created that I really feel they inspired me as a young writer and filmmaker. His films have an artistry that's really rare, a rawness. If there's an unintentional quality to the movie, it comes from such a place of passion that it totally works. The other thing about Sam Fuller is that he was always ahead of his time, especially about racial issues. And one of the characters in the movie is a black man who believes he's a white supremacist. Robert T., a lone Negro student who stepped out of a white university into a straitjacket. Run, Schmidt, run! The acting in the situations are overwrought, but there's something so magical about this movie, Shot Corridor, and uh, many Sam Fuller movies. It reminds me of going to acting class 20 years ago when everything was yet to be discovered and there was so much excitement and, and passion about it all. His story appeals to me personally because as a writer, I was always going undercover. I made a movie called Streets and pretended to be a street person. And I met all kinds of interesting people to base characters on or put in the movie. And I could easily imagine choosing to pretend to be insane and going to the loony bin and not being able to get out. And for me, that made Shock Court a really scary fun. Sam Fuller's work resonates through me today. He was a true pioneer, doing the type of movies that others wouldn't even conceive of yet attempt. Shock Corridor is one of the movies that writers and filmmakers go back to to be reminded of what courage is. Shock Corridor seems like a really personal film to me. But then I think Sam put his heart into every film he made. He was the real deal. He was a World War II vet who saw a lot of combat, violence, death, and that is so evident in his work. Forgive me for saying it, Miss Barrett, but there's something very strange about this case. 